paintings can be a creative reflection of children's thoughts. Simple materials can be treated as participatory, which involves a lot of productive moments. The masterpiece I create will use acrylic paints, brushes, water, and straws as encounters to make the paint blowing. After mastering the basic expression of watercolor painting and the use of color, children can choose unique colors independently to depict the concrete or abstract world. The emotions can be expressed at the forefront of the art, which makes the artwork vivid rather than realistic. Children can create the painting with different colors and textures to represent what they think. Also, the choice they make is a reflection of their recognition towards the world surrounding them. Linking to EYLF, children's identity is not fixed, which is shaped within the context of living communities. The transformation of inevitable changes, like the understanding of themselves, their personalities, and their physical and mental development progress, can be reflected through the painting. Right now. I'm splatting their colors on the water and blowing them with straws to form abstract art. Paint assemblage occurs differently with time and space changes. The mixture of acrylic paints and water, the overlap of one color with another, and these interactions between different elements transform my mixed feelings. How much force can be used to blow watercolors in different directions, and how far they can be blown increased the interest in painting through the observation of watercolors' movements. The watercolor paints let children engage in experimenting with the sensations of colors, texture, and movement. Usually, they use brushes as the main materials to draw shapes, lines, and curves to create images of the story they want to tell. However, we also need to encourage children to create more possibilities for painting, melting away the boundaries. The materials cannot be limited. Straws can be used as a good substitute. This means the language we use to describe the experience and the movement we explore through experiments might be different. Experimentation is what we embrace to transform life in early childhood centers to encounter more materials and more relations. Reggio Emilia's experience in transformation highlighted the meaning making, which is another evaluation way of action and practice. What we should modify further is to promote changes by making invisible values more visible to see beyond the surface. Therefore, we should welcome more open mind thoughts, ideas, and stories to be told.